also be isolating when you feel lost in your life and you feel like everyone else had this path and this plan and they knew what they were going to accomplish from day one. And maybe someone else out there doesn't feel that way and doesn't know where they're going in the path. It's easier than that in some ways. Like rip that all apart and say, what excites you the most when you're doing it? Where do you feel joy? Not happiness, joy. That's a every single day I try to have one moment of pure unadulterated joy. It's something that a lot of times I'm lucky in that that's in my work. Sometimes it's a one minute dance party or, you know, <laughs> like a really delicious bite of food or something <laughs> like that. But I think if you're really connecting to joy, one, you never get burnt out. I believe that. And two, it's almost this incredible compass that points you towards really what you care about and what you like to do. Where where does that joy come from for you? If you push towards that, I think you're going to accomplish incredible things. When does joy become dangerous? If that's the daily, obviously, it's, you know, we're here on this planet to have to have joy. If you say, you know, maybe it's like ice cream. I'm just going to go and have one little ice cream, which might turn into three scoops every single day. Like <laughs> when does in the joy that you're talking about here in terms of you being able to be happy and, and avoid burnout? What are some what are some uh, examples or things that people should look out for so they can maintain it, but not fall off the tightrope? Joy is always a complex topic because I, I think it's very different than happiness and very different than pleasure. So I would question if someone is eating three bowls of ice cream, <laughs> is that pleasure or is that true joy? I think joy is more existential. Joy is like, I feel the most joy when I see something that I've been picturing in my head actually come to life. Like that to me is pure, like a unadulterated source of joy. When I'm imagining, wouldn't it be great if one day this character could be here and actually talk to me in real life? Can you, what would that be like? Wouldn't it be great if this whole environment around me were actually something totally different? And when you actually see that occur for me, it's this incredible moment of joy. I think joy ultimately connects us to our purpose. A lot of times you can feel happiness and pleasure and things like that, but it may not really be connected to our purpose. And I think.